Finn Mason against Jason Richardson, and Jason's already had a big day. He got slimed on the uh, on the Read to Achieve show today, and then he was the MVP of the Rookie Challenge, and he takes on Desmond Mason, the defending champ. And both of these guys played in the Rookie Challenge, and I think that is a little bit of an advantage because they've had some exercise today and a little bit warmed up. You know, one thing is interesting. All these guys lie about their height, too. Bro, I, I think someone right now has a 360 from the free throw line is, or very close to the free throw line that's available. There's a 41 yeah, he, for the first dunk and for he's right here, And he's sitting over there by you. Right here's a 360 ball toss right here. You know, coming up. Golden State rookie, he's 21 years old. And you know he's not 6'6". He's only about 6'4", Charles. He's your size. Well, Jerry Wallace, they say he's 6'7". He's about 6'4 and a half, just like me. But he can rise. So Jason Richardson uh, seeming pleased with his first effort after watching Desmond Mason go for a 41. That's a 48 for, for Jason Richardson. Now keep in mind, folks, that it's Jason Richardson See, against Desmond now look, Mason now, here. And look at the two low scores. People at home and Kenny. No, you know what? <laughs> All the great players over there gave him a 10. No, 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 because see, you, you can't just give out 10s at the beginning of You have to make sure that that is the best dunk of the night. So once I realize that that's the best dunk of the night, then everything is judged on that dunk. The second dunk of the evening, you use a teammate. And this is in the first round, obviously. And so Earl Watson aiding uh, Desmond Mason. Earl Watson is uh, a second round pick, a steal for the Sonics. He's been a real fine playing some backup point guard to Gary Payton. And hey, hey, this is a dunk Barry. contest. This is a dunk contest. That's what you makes know what? It. He's a good player. I bet he can hear too. That's very impressive. What did you mean Watson can hear? Look at those ears. <laughs> well, right here you see Desmond Mason jump over those ears. <laughs> he, won't, he won't have any problem here. Last year he went over a teammate's back also in the course of uh, last year's contest, and he goes over Earl Watson. I don't even think Earl had to duck. <laughs> <laughs> Be interesting to see what the score is. I don't know. That's uh, that's a 47. What do you think? Ernie? I'm not going to guess anymore because Charles just kills me when I do. So, I, I, I say 46. Well, it's a 46, 47 because it, it wasn't as good as the, the one before that. Well, Ernie, if you look over here at me, I could look at and tell you before it happens what everybody's voting. Yeah, do me a solid. I appreciate that, Jet. So two dunks are in the books right now, or will be shortly for Desmond Mason. Then he'll uh, he'll be spinning the wheel to see what he does on his third of the first round. He's got to hope that's a 48 at least. 43. The, the, the defending champion is in some trouble. See, I, I don't think people understand. It's much more difficult to throw the ball up and catch it than dunk it, when, especially when you're depending on someone else to do it. And the way he took off from, I thought that was impressive. So Gilbert Arenas now will uh, will be helping out Jason Richardson with his second dunk of round one. Another second round pick, and this guy's a comedian. This is a funny, funny kid right here, Gilbert Arenas. Are you ready? And I bet he's got some creativity of his own. Oh! Hey, I thought Gilbert Arenas was going to dunk it. He was, he was high enough to dunk it. And now it's time for Desmond Mason to go to the wheel. I'm not sure which one you wanted to be. He's looking for the Vince dunk. He's looking for one of the question marks and hope to get a Vince dunk. He's gone past the question mark, and Dr. J. He's got to do a Dr. J dunk. And which Dr. J dunk, you ask? It's this one. Oh, don't tell me he's taking off from the line. Now, see, he can't do this dunk. Oh, no. oh it's a cup. It's a cup. Let's see what Desmond thinks of his spin. All right, Desmond, two successful jams already. You spin, you get Dr. J. How comfortable do you feel about this one? I'm feeling pretty comfortable about it. Uh, you know, I just got to go out and make sure I make it. That's going to be the main thing. You going to get a little flavor on it? I'm going to try to. All right. 
The spotlight is on the defending champion. Trying to recreate the work of that man. Now both of these guys are obviously great dunkers off of one or two legs, but Desmond Mason and Jason Richardson are better jumpers off of two feet. Well, you can't, that's the, you can't emulate Dr. J. Emulate Ernie me and do the same thing. Thank you, Dr. Barkley. Tell us about your round. First of all, the opening dunk, not a high score, but then you better roll Watson, you jumped over him, and now the wheel. Um, you know, I, f I feel comfortable about the first round. Uh, my first two dunks, um, I felt were pretty good dunks. I guess the judges felt otherwise, but, um, you know, the wheel dunk, that's, that's something you just have to come out and do. So I think I've done a pretty good job of it. It's one thing to prepare dunks, but when you get the wheel, is it nervous? And then when you find out you have to emulate the great Dr. Julius Irving? Yeah, I mean, it, it is nerve-wracking, especially when you're sitting right over there uh, being one of the judges. So, um, like I said, I just wanted to come out and be comfortable about it and make sure I made the dunk. So Jason Richardson is at the wheel. Jason, when you are ready, needing 37 to advance, give it a spin. And, and Jason's hoping to get in the human highlight film reel because, again, he's a two-footed jumper. And uh, I, 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 he, man, he can jump one foot, two feet. He can jump off his fingertips if he needs Oh, and he's going to get it. Dominique, look at him. He's by. happy. Oh, it's Ooh. going to the 90s. Oh, oh here it comes back. It was back. That's human the highlight line. line. It is human highlight film. Human highlight. Oh, he, oh he's got to do the windmill. He's got to do the one-hand windmill. He this, can do is, this. this is his thing, though. That's the one that he wanted. This of all the dunks that he one. wanted to do, this is the one he wants. Yeah, but he's got to do it with the same elevation that Dominique used to do it for him to get a good score for me. <laughs> oh. The jet has spoken, and now here's Cheryl. You had a 48 on your first one. You missed your second one. You need a 37 to advance. Now you got to emulate. Dominic, how much pressure? Uh, no pressure. I'm a Dominic fan, so I'm pretty you know, familiar with this dunk, so I put it in. All right, let's see what you got, Jason. Let's go back to you, Jay. Extremely confident, the rookie, as he well, you can tries jump. to advance to the final. When you can jump that high, you can be confident. This is a good break. Again, this is he's confident with this particular dunk. Oh! Okay, okay. Dominic is back alive. He's in the building. Dominic is back in the building. Wow. It's not quite as good as Dominic. No, he did it effortlessly, though. I'll tell you, man. He did that. that it's, you see it with the wrong angle. You saw it, Danny. You saw that angle? Yeah, that's it awesome. Hey, <laughs> it doesn't matter what angle you see that at. That's not as good as Dominic Wilkins. Oh, no, I don't know, baby. That's right hey, in there. You but get that's... some 3D glasses, and it still won't be as good as Dominic. Oh, yes, it is. That's very good. So Jason Richardson, <laughs> third dunk, a 50. He's in the finals. Here's Craig. Well, you got the judges, you got our analysts saying, is that better than Dominique? You matched up pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, I think it was up there with his, but I don't know. Dominique is a great dunker. You advanced to the finals with that dunk. You played earlier. You were the MVP in the rookie game. Did that help you by getting loose, getting exercise? Yeah, that got me loose a lot. I got up and down the floor. I got used to the rim, loose to the floor, and it helped me out a lot. You got a lot left for the finals? Oh, yeah. Gerald Wallace, 19-year-old Sacramento King rookie, and Steve Francis who uh, was dynamite a couple years ago, but nobody was going to beat Vince Carter that night. This is, a, this is the unknown. This guy averages six minutes a night in 30 games. Not a whole lot of folks have seen him, but his teammates rant and rave about him. I say he does a 360, kind of like Jason Richardson did. The crowd gave a guy a good response, and hey, his Sacramento Kings teammates tell me this guy is awesome. He's got to come out loud, though, man. He's got to show everybody what he's doing. First 360. Well, that'll be a lot harder, Ernie, going backwards 360. Yeah. Going backwards from the baseline. Because usually you do that 360, you'd be in the middle of the floor. You don't have to do it from the baseline. Here's Steve Francis with his first. <laughs> oh! I see what you're trying. I see what you're trying. That. If he would have did, done that dunk, that would have been right up there with maybe one of all-time greatest dunks. Yeah, but now he missed. But you just even. The guy, you could try something crazy because the other guy missed too. Yeah, so, but you want to get something on the board just in case Gerald Walsh misses again. Why would you pick Chris Webber to throw you an alley -oop when you got Mike Bibby on your team? I would have flown Mike Bibby out here for free. Hey, you see Chris Webber's going to bail Paul Pierce out for the worst shoes of the night. Uh, I, I was hoping that Chris wouldn't move. I was just checking my uh, hair in the mirror. You don't have to check that forehead. 
<laughs> the teammate dunk. Now, see, see, Webb is going. I don't think he's ready for this alley oop pass that he's going to have to try. Oh, he's going to do the. Oh, he's going to. He's going to jump over. He's going to jump over C. Webb. Oh, I believe that when I see it. He's going to jump over C. Webb. Oh, I told you. Where's Mike Biddy when you meet him? Let's see the. Oh, how about that? The, re here. the referees call traveling. He's going to get to uh, to redo that. One. Danny, why I think they're going to call three trouble? seconds right now? <laughs> oh! hey, 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 not bad though. I like that dunk right there. Not bad though. Not bad. I don't know what they tell you to go. It, I think Desmond's was a little better though, Danny. <laughs> yeah, but oh, Danny was out of it. I don't. No way. Same that, dunk. It's the same dunk. Little better though. Well, that's a nice dunk right that's there. That's a nice dunk. It's it's neat. It was neat. <laughs> See, your first problem is neither one of them want to pass. That's what that was I was just going to say. Coutinho, neither one of them really Coutinho wants to pass. Coutinho has no idea he how to pass to shoot the ball. That. He was like, "I'm shooting this, Steve. <laughs> <to> catch it." <laughs> Oh, you got to throw it early. Catino has no idea how to pass the ball. That's all right, Steve. <laughs> Don't jump until you're ready. I can tell you, I played with Catino with the Rockets. Rudy Tom Donovan didn't have any plays where Catino passed the ball. Oh. When they finally got it right. And so now here is Gerald Wallace going to the wheel. Anything over 47, he wins the competition. I want to see something to question my oh, mister. May he also have to do a Dr. J classic? Dr. He does. J. See, I think he's going to get a bad finger. This probably got to be the free throw line right here. Well, what's wrong with that? I think he can do it. He's long enough he, he can jump. He can't palm a ball. No, this is the reverse. Yes, this is the reverse. This is the reverse. Oh, he can do that easy. See, what I like about that is he goes up with the right hand and it brings it down. And Ernie, down you like ways. everything about this. You should. I mean, look. Well, Dr. What's J, the, one thing what's about... What's not to like about a Dr. J dunk, Jack? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You should like everything about that. I mean, Dr. J palms a ball like a grapefruit, though. I mean, it's not even... These guys don't have those big hands, but he does have big hands. Let's go to Cheryl. All right, Gerald. Gerald, we really need to pull this one off. What advice did you just get from your teammate? Just make it. Just make it. That's yeah. it. All right, let's see what you got. Well, we know let's go that, to you, Jay. We know he has a deep voice. We Sounds haven't like heard Barry of Barry very much. Also, yeah. just, Sound just like Barry White. Baby, baby, baby. Just baby. Yeah. I'm impressed. That was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> was. He, doesn't, he doesn't quite have the same grip of the ball. Nobody can duplicate Dr. J except Connie Hawkins, maybe. But And Michael. That, that was awesome right there. He needs oh, a 47 my. just to stay in the hunt. Or a 47 to clinch. 47 it. to clinch. You know, hey, guys in Alabama, we have done some amazing things in our life. <laughs> he ducked like that. I'm, I got up to 350. It was pretty amazing <laughs> to be that fast. Hey, Ernie. Yes, Charles. Guys aren't supposed to wear a pink, are they? I'm not going there. You're detracting from the competition. Lay off my boy's sakes. Hey, but guys, guys aren't supposed to wear a pink, are they? Uh-oh, the 1980s. The 80s. What comes to mind in the 1980s? Watch the screen. Sager's jacket. Terrence Stansberry. Oh. oh. Statue of Liberty, baby. Oh, he needs some stick -up. Now, see, Steve Francis cannot palm the ball. Yeah, that's not fair. That's, that's not, not fair. That's why I told you it was stupid to hell at will. Now he can't even got a chance of doing that dunk if he can't palm the ball. Well, he could do a 360 and do his own flavor to it. Kind of just do your own fear to it. See, he can't, can't. Can he do it? Can he not? Here is Cheryl do Miller. Do your own thing. Steve, you're over here shaking your head. You need a 45 to advance to the finals. Can you pull this one off? I can't palm the ball, so I'm going to see what I can do. But right. I ain't never going to doubt myself. Give it your best shot. Let's go to the See, that's why that's a disadvantage with that board. That's why you got to have some stick in your sock right now. Fred Belitnikov. Work, work Lester Hayes when you need him. He needs a 45 to win. He's coming from the wrong angle, isn't he? Now he's supposed he to come needs to go right, the middle. right down the middle. Right, but see, if you can't palm the ball, you got to come from this side. So, you got to come from that side if you can't palm the ball. That's yeah. not bad. That, that, that's not yeah, better than Darren Wall. That push it. And not really close to what we saw from Stansbury on the, on the Statue yeah, but of that, Liberty. That, that push at a disadvantage. You don't have big hands. Certainly. 
But, yeah, like Danny said, there should be a stick in the back of the pocket. But I don't understand still how Ice and Dawkins can give Jared Wallace a seven on that last dunk. They're, the fans at home are giving sevens for misses. Well, it sounds like uh, Darren Dawkins cheating off Dr. J. I know. <laughs> like, just like he did in school. And in this one, Dr. J spins the wheel, and both dunkers have to do the same dunk. And this spin is huge because I think the one-legged jump and the long, you know, the foul line type of stuff favors Wallace, and the two-legged dunks favor Richardson. Uh -oh. Wouldn't you know it? The, the wheel is not rigged. Here's another I, Dr. J. I, I'm going to have to disagree. I, just, I think the wheel what, might be rigged. I think it's rigged, too. It's heavy. But I'll tell you what, Wallace, I think it because of his length. Free throw line. The old he got to jump on the free throw line. Neither one of these guys can do this dunk right here. No, no, no. I think Jason Richardson can do this. Jason Richardson cannot do it because all his dunks are two-legged dunks. Do you hear Ains? I think this guy could take off for one step in. That's where Doctor took off. One step and, in off of two legs. He's I think not, they can both do it. He is not comfortable leaving for off of one leg. He could do it off of two then. Let's go to the Cheryl. Free throw line. I'll tell you, the doc is making it tough out here tonight. The extension from the free throw. Now, you were able to pull off Dominic, and you struggled a little bit with docs. How difficult would this one be? It's going to be a very difficult dunk. Um, dunk from the free throw line, it's kind of tough. What's going to be the biggest challenge for you, Gerald? I think this one is it. I think <laughs> this one is it. All right, good luck. Let's go back to you, EJ. All right, thank you very much, Cheryl. This, this is going to be interesting for him. <laughs> See, he's more comfortable on the one leg. He made it. Not bad, not bad. Just not inside bad. the line. Not bad. Not bad. No, because you've seen the dunks on the free throw line before when Michael hangs and he then he pumps it in with one hand and brings it back. So you know what? Look at that. That was nice. I'm not saying it was terrible, but it was nice. <laughs> oh, and uh, the disappointment of a 44. Yeah, that's tough, man. Well, the only person who didn't give him a 10 was Ice. Well, Iceman, you are tough, Hey, man. but I'll tell you what. This, this is what I like about this contest. They're going to judge. He has to do the same exact dunk. He got the. Oh, he see that? That, I, I think that's the point me and Ainge were trying to make. He is not comfortable jumping off one leg. He wants to jump off two legs. And it's a big difference as far as comfort goes. He, he can uh, try to make that one up right now. He's just not comfortable going off of one leg. It's a 36, which uh, which will make Gerald Wallace feel much better. Gerald Wallace should do something very simple. <laughs> a 43 could clinch it. Ah, he See, put his elbow he in tried, there. He tried to do the Vince Carter dunk. And that it. Oh, that wasn't. Uh, that's a tough one there. The crowd here turning because unruly. He doesn't elevate like this. He, he can replace that dunk, yes, though, he can. can he? Yes, he hasn't replaced I, one. If yet. I were him, I'd go do that again. He, he better go to Plan B. He could re. Oh, it went in. So there's, there is no replacement if you make the dunk. Oh, that's tough, with Gerald. Let's get to the bottom of this. Well, Gerald, what happened? Looked like you're trying to imitate Vince Carter on that one. It just slipped out of my hand, man. I lost control of the ball when the ball hit, when it hit my. Uh, when, it, uh, when the rim hit my arm, the ball slipped out of my hand, so I kind of messed up on that one. You made the dunk, but it wasn't what you planned. You wish you could I do it again? Plan what I, uh, yeah, I, I was thinking I was going to get a redo, but, uh, you know, it's, I don't know. We have come down to the final dunk, a 45 for Jason Richardson to win, and it looks like he's, uh, is he, he was conferring with Gilbert Arenas. I don't know if he'll use him here or not. I know he tightened his shorts up very tight for this. For yeah, he this looks like he's wearing lot. half of a 23 here. He might try to put it through his legs off the alley-oop. Oh, but if he does, he might miss. He, he's like, yo, I'm going to go for it. Well, you know what? I like a competitor. I don't want the guy to do the easy dunk. I told ah. you. He's going to try it. He's, he can do it again. See, that's my point. You get to do a dunk over when you're not good at something. That's not, that makes no sense. Oh, he called, it, he called it a turnover and counted the dunk because he was making his move. Oh, no, I have it in my right hand. And now controversy. He gets to do it again. Swirling. Yeah, the, the, the NBA just told him to get out the way and let the guy do the dunk again. So, you know, the NBA just said, hey, don't start trying to get calls right now. Well, that wasn't an attempted dunk. Ball yeah. didn't even come. He slipped out of his hand on the way up. You got to get tipped to dunk. No, but he took it between his legs is what he said. Come on, there it is. That's the bounce. Jason Richardson, the 
with that. We have a winner. That, my friends, is how you finish a dunk contest. Well, that's at least a nine. There's, uh, no, there's no way, I mean, on every What did what the the, Bugs Bunny used to say? Uh, that's all, folks. Uh, something <laughs> similar to that. We, you, know, you just don't know. Based on the judging that we've seen it. No, no, no. That's I a saw nine Dr. At least. I saw Dr. J's reaction. I saw the crowd reaction. Oh my oh, that's goodness. Sick. That's sick. What are you talking about? That dunk had the flu. That dunk is sick. What are you talking about over there? That's beautiful right there. That might be on the wheel next year. <laughs> <laughs> Something to try to emulate. Yes, the Jason <laughs> Richardson <laughs> section of the wheel. You know the scary thing about it? It looked like he changed his mind about that duck. He was gonna duck it forward. And he said, I'm up here pretty high. I might as well waste a little time and dunk it back. See, if he didn't have to, uh, he didn't have to do that wheel, he would have had a more impressive showing here in the dunk contest. Jason Richardson has already been hey. named the MVP of the Got Milk Rookie Challenge today. And now he has added the slam dunk title to his resume with a 49, and we go to Craig. A 49, almost a perfect dunk. Way to put an exclamation point on a great day for you. Talk about this last dunk. I just wanted to come out there and try to take between my legs. My arm a little sore from doing those dunks early in the competition. But, uh, Go to stay, baby. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, yo. Teammate home. gave a ring as he started that dunk, and uh, he told me to put it down, and I did it. You almost were disqualified. Almost didn't get a chance to do that last dunk. What did you tell Scott Wall, the official, that gave you another chance? Because I didn't bring it up. The ball slipped right through my hand, so I didn't bring it up, so it wasn't an attempt. So I'm glad it didn't, I didn't bring my hand up, unless it would have been. So I'm glad I got another chance. It's just like Charles Barkley on the golf course, picking mulligans. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Ernie. I won't even uh, ask Charles for a response to that. He's that, staying that, on Charles. Yeah, Craig Sager's getting on my nerves. <laughs> Jason Richardson with a score of 85, the 2002 